We're asked to find dy dt at x equals 3 if y equals negative 3x squared plus 4x plus 5 and dx dt equals negative 5 when x equals 3. And just to have some meaning here, we will assume t is time in minutes. So because we're looking for dy dt and we have y as a function of x, we need to differentiate both sides of the equation with respect to t. On the left, the derivative of y with respect to t is dy dt. On the right, we first have the derivative of negative 3x squared with respect to t. So because we have an x term and we're differentiating with respect to t, we need to apply the chain rule, which means we first differentiate with respect to x and then multiply by dx dt. The derivative of negative 3x squared with respect to x is negative 6x, and then applying the chain rule, we multiply by dx dt. This should remind you of implicit differentiation. And then plus the derivative of 4x with respect to t, first we differentiate 4x with respect to x, which is 4, and then applying the chain rule, we multiply by a factor of dx dt. And then finally, plus the derivative of 5 with respect to t, which is 0. Notice because we know dx dt equals negative 5 when x equals 3, we have all the information we need to determine dy dt when x equals 3. dy dt is equal to negative 6 times x, which is 3, times dx dt, which is negative 5, plus 4 times dx dt, again, where dx dt is negative 5. Simplifying, we have dy dt equals 90 plus negative 20, which is equal to positive 70. And now let's take a moment to explain what this means. dy dt is measuring the change of y with respect to time t in minutes, so if we make dy dt a fraction as 70 over 1, this is telling us that y is increasing by 70 units per minute when x equals 3 and dx dt equals negative 5. I hope you found this helpful.